What's up, everybody? Once again, my name is Matt, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. In the last episode, we did everything that we could do currently in the place that was under the ocean, without spoiling the name. And then we made our way out of the uh, the Tower of the Gods, but unfortunately today we're actually going to be doing a little bit of backtracking because I forgot to go do something while we were at the Tower of the Gods, so I want to go make sure I do that real quickly. And of that, of course, was we forgot to pick up the map fish for that location, so... Let's make our way back and go and do that real quick, considering he's right here. So let's get our bait out. Wrong bag. I always do that. I always pick the wrong bag. Alright, let's get up to the map fish over here. And let's get the map for this area. And there we go. Sweet. That was the one thing that I forgot to do out of everything, was get the map fish location. I've been actually doing really bad on that. I forgot about like the, the three triangle islands. Boy, small fry! Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I take it you want a chart information about this island. Yeah, we do. Okay, just give us our, uh, our chart information and we'll be on our way. Because we got quite a bit of side quests to do, actually. We're going to be making our way back to Dragon Roost Island shortly after our chart gets filled up. Because uh, there's, a, there's a few side quests we can do there now. And I think that's a good place to start. Since pretty much, like I've said already before, everything is pretty much open to us at this point. So we just have to... Uh, to just do it really so I'm gonna take out the Wind Waker and we're gonna go head back to Dragon Roost and again like always since I've already been to Dragon Roost Island I will be cutting out the sailing from here to Dragon Roost that way this episode can have a lot more content in it and a lot less sailing in it <laughs> so I will see you guys once I arrive at Dragon Roost Island Alright, welcome back guys. Here we are at Dragon Roost Island. Morning has just broken as we arrived here. So, let's go ahead and get a few things done while we're here. First of which being the uh, the side quest for the 20 Golden Feathers. Now that we have the 20 Golden Feathers, we can actually go ahead and trade those in and get a few things from this dude. So let's go ahead and make our way inside the, uh, the place over here. I don't even know what you would call us, but let's actually check our mail first because apparently we have some letters. Good morning! Letters for Link, we have two letters. Here's your letter. Actually, you should say letters, because there's two of them, but whatever. How are you doing, Link? Do you have enough of granny soup? Where are you now? You may be closer than I suspect. Are you hungry? Are you keeping warm? You haven't injured yourself, have you? You always work so hard, Link. Do you have enough rupees? Your grandma doesn't have a lot, but I'm saving everything I've saved for you. I'm sending everything I've saved for you. As long as I have you in a rail, I don't need anything else. I just want to say that I just want the two of you to return home safely. Love, Grandma. Well, that's nice. Grandma sent us a letter filled with 20 rubies. Yay! And what was the second letter we got? Here's your letter. Oh, okay. So he gave us one at a time. I was incorrect. Grandma, man box, you win again. <laughs> I'm sorry to serve you with this unsolicited letter. If the following does not interest you, please throw this letter away without a second thought. But this is your big chance! Do you have need of an empty bottle, a piece of heart, or treasure chart? We have them at special bargain prices, but we only have one of each. If you're interested, go to the shop ship near Rock Spire Island. First come, first serve. I can't wait to serve you. To those who took the time to read this letter, please accept my humble thanks. Assistant Manager, Rock Spire Shop Ship. Sweet, so we will definitely have to check that out once we figure out where Rock Spire Island is. And go to that shop ship and get all three of those things, because... Tr quite frankly, those interest all of me. I would like to get a piece of heart, a treasure chart, and another empty bottle. But let's actually go talk to the Rito Postman up here and give him that, um, or those, rather, the, uh, 20 golden feathers that we collected at the Tower of the Gods using the, uh, I guess the cheap little grinding method that I showed off. So we talk to this guard right here. Let's go take out our golden feathers right here. And we'll target him and pull out the golden feathers. Hey, that's what my girlfriend wants, a golden feather. So how many of those do you have? So you're really just going to let me have 20 of those? Sure, why not? Really? Are you sure? Yes! I'm going to stick these in a and stick these little beauties in a letter and send them off right away. I'm going to tell her all about you too. I'm so happy. Seriously. It's not much, but please accept this. So for those 20 golden feathers, he gives us an orange rupee, which is worth 100 rupees. So that's totally worth going out of the way to collect those. But not only that... If we go outside by the mailbox over here and play the Song of Passing twice, we might just get something else from this. So let's go ahead and go outside, go next to the mailbox, and go ahead and do that. And while we're doing that, we can also enjoy the awesome music of Dragon Roost, which everyone loves, of course. And, um, what is the Song of Passing? I always forget it, so let me go look real quick. Okay, that's what it is. Alright, 
Let's go ahead and play the Song of Passing twice and check our mailbox and see if we get anything new. This is a cheap little way of just making time go by faster so that way you can like, you can um, well later it's going to be used for a side quest where we can change the um, stage of the moon for a uh, picto box side quest. Oh, actually, now we can, hey, we can get it now. We only had to do it once. Sweet. Good evening. Letters for Link. We have one letter. Here's your letter. <laughs> Dear Link, I recently received some golden feathers from my boyfriend who mentioned you. I'm something of a bird enthusiast, so I know how hard it must have been to get all these feathers. Actually, it was kind of easy. I want you to, <laughs> I want you to be as happy as we are, Link, so I'm sending you this heart as a token of our affection. And with that, we get a piece of heart! There we go, clicked four to form heart container. Ta-da! We haven't gotten a piece of heart in a long time, actually, so that's like the first time I've said that piece of heart thing in a while. Anyways, now that we've done that, there's actually one more thing that we can do on Dragon Roost before we uh we set off to do other side quests, and that's come back here, and now that we have bombs, we can actually blow up this rock. So let's go ahead and do that. Yay! So at the time of recording this, um, I uploaded the Sonic Finale like three days ago on Friday. It's now Monday night. This is going to go up Tuesday the next day. So I finished the uh, the Sonic Generations Finale. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was pretty freaking sweet if I do say so myself. Um, and plans for the next uh, side LP while we continue on with Wind Waker are already in the works. Um, it's probably going to be something co-op. I know. Um that much already I'm not entirely sure what the game is going to be yet we might go back to Mario Party 6 or we might go to something else anyways down in here we have a bit of a gauntlet actually and now that we have the master sword these guys get taken out in one hit each they are ridiculously easy now but anyways there are four rooms in these gauntlets and after you defeat one of them you get a flame above one of the doors signifying that you've you know defeated the challenge in it and later on in the game, these get a lot more uh, advanced, I guess, and a lot harder. But this is our first one, so it's pretty easy. We got a few, you know, cheap enemies that we just got to take out. And after that, the flame will appear over the door. We do all four of those, and then we go and get something in another room. So, we're just going to quickly just make our way through all of these rooms, defeating all of these enemies. And then, hopefully, we'll get the, uh, the reward at the end of this. Oh, hey, we got these guys again. That's weird. I, d I guess, actually, um... It depends on different rooms that you do, because in my practice file, I actually did this a bit differently, so I had different enemies in every room, so that's kind of interesting, and apparently there is someone around here still, because... What just happened? Did I... Oh, did I go in a door with a flame already? I bet you that's what I did. That was stupid. Either that or I screwed something up. I don't even know. Maybe I, uh, maybe I'm didn't doing something wrong. I'm doing this a bit differently than the way I did in my practice file, so that could totally be what just happened there. I might have just did something wrong or something I don't even know but regardless we're in a new room here with some jellies we'll just take all those guys out that'll open that flame and what I'm actually gonna do here is um you know what now screw it. let's just go with the way that we were doing it before let's just go in the door without the flame I was gonna say let's go back to the main hub room and do it that way but yeah I think it might be just easier just to go from here yeah here's another room that we haven't done yet this is the last room anyway so let's just do it we just got a bunch of these um are these guys no these guys aren't the moblins I forget what these guys are called doesn't even matter. I'm sure one of you guys will point out in the comments for me because like you always do, which is awesome. I love it when you guys uh, point out stuff that I don't know in the comments. But anyways, after you defeat all four of those rooms, the uh, you know the room with like the little pillars and everything will open up, and then we can just go in here. And in this room, we have a treasure chest that we can open up—a nice big wooden one. And inside is a purple rupee worth 50 rupees. And then usually if you break the pots around here, they'll give you a bunch of rupees, sometimes hearts, but mo most of the time it's rupees, I think. So we'll just get a bunch of green ones and a yellow one, and uh, we'll be on our way. So that was pretty much all I wanted to do right now at Dragon Roost, actually. I know there's a few things I uh, want to do later on. If you break the pot in the middle, you get some rupees, so that's nice. Anyways, I know there's a few things I want to do later on. Um, we may come back here and do some other things, but after we leave here, there's a lot of things that we got to do, actually. Uh, mainly being upgrading a lot of the things that we already have, as well as learning a few new uh, things that we can do on the Wind Waker. Hopefully one that'll let us uh, get around the map a little easier. I almost just walked right back in that hole. That would have been bad. 
But, alright, so, that about wraps it up for this episode, guys. So, once again, my name is Matt. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker.